How's it going everyone? It sure has been quite a while. Now, I hope you guys are doing well. I can't say the same thing about myself. Just by reading the title, you guys already know what happens. It's quite devastating and it makes me really upset. But you know what? I'm not gonna let that slow me down and I'm gonna get back on the grind, work twice as hard and I'll get everything back. The only thing that I honestly lost that was quite valuable was the Dragon Warhammer. But even that shouldn't take too long to get. It took me, I believe, two months to get my Dragon Warhammer, which I think is quite unlucky. I believe I should get it back much faster. You know, it's all depending on luck. I might get it within one day, I might get it with a week. So eventually I'll end up getting that back because I'm going to need that for raids. So the main goal for this series is going to be to get myself the Twisted Bow. Now, getting that Twisted Bow is going to be very difficult on an Ultimate Iron Man account, it could, and it could take me quite a while, but the main reason why I want to get this is simply because it's going to make bossing extremely easy. Most of the bosses that I do on this account, I can't really get that many bosses per trip i usually get about one to two most of the times even one and that's a huge waste of time as soon as i get myself the twisted bow it's going to make bossing way much easier and i can do almost every single boss with the twisted bow especially god wars dungeon bosses those are the bosses that take quite a while for me to do and imagine using a twisted bow. I'm sure you guys seen plenty of videos using it and it's going to make it bossing very easy and it's going to take me way much less to complete my main goal which was to get all the gar uh, all the boss drops, at least all the main drops. 500k should be a great amount that I can use to start off and buy myself some rune armor and a dragon scimitar. Now we're going to first start off by getting myself the dragon scimitar and then after that I believe we should move on to start getting myself the whip the Dragon Boots and the Fury. I completely forgot how annoying it was to get the Dragon Scimitar on an ultimate. You have to get all the items all over again. That was quite a pain. Now that I got it, the next thing that we're going to be working on is I'm going to be getting myself the Dragon Defender. Now, it's going to take me not too long, honestly, simply because I can just buy myself the attack cape and I don't really need tokens for that. And it should be quite quick, honestly. So that's the plan for now. I'm going to get myself the Dragon Defender first. And then next up, we're going to go and hunt for that Abyssal Whip. Oh man, that's hilarious. I managed to get myself a shield left half from these. I think that's way much rarer than a whip. That's that's bad. Well, let's hope it doesn't take me thousands of kills like it did the first time to get this whip. It's about time I finish up. This took quite a while to do. Now, I had no idea that when you boost, it doesn't allow you to anymore, anymore to reset. For example, if you were to log out, I believe they fixed that. And I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> and by the time I got to the furnace to make the ferry, I, the booster ran out. And you guys know how long sometimes it could take to get that boost. So <laughs> I had to keep boosting after that for a long time. But I finally got it, finished everything up. So I have all the basic gear that I need to start doing some barrows. Now I'm going to be doing barrows, like I said earlier, for a body, for legs. I would prefer to try to get myself the Varric skirt and any body will do, except the Varric's body, of course, because it gives way much less defense than any other Derek's body, as well as some Aram's uh, and Carol's top would be pretty nice. So I'm going to see how lucky I'm going to get. Let's hope I don't have to do a huge amount of chests. This is bad and good at the same time. This is the least piece that I want because this has the same stats as a room play body, but I'll take it. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> I get a second item and it's a Carol's Coif. All right, guys, this is going to be the last chest that I'm going to be doing before I go and get myself uh, Ancients, as well as I want to get myself the Tridents because even though I have max melee, it still takes way too long for me to do the barrel run. So even though it might take me quite a while to get the Tridents, but it's still worth it because I'll still need it for some, uh, I believe I will need it for raids. So I might as well just get it now. So let's see if I manage to get anything good. I've been like, 30 chest try or something like that, a little bit less, maybe more, I'm not really sure, let's see. Yeah, uh, yeah, that sucks. So I believe I got a drop around like early 500s, maybe before that, I think it was early 500s, so yeah, quite a decent amount of chest dry. So let's go grab myself the tridents and we'll keep doing some more barrels. Aw uh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about, guys. Black Mask. Let's pick this baby up and let's get back to Slayer. Now I've also did a bit of Nightmare Zone to imbue the Slayer Helmets and the reason why I did that is that this helmet is going to be better than a Helm of Ntiznaught because this is a tribrid helm. Now after you imbue it, it gives you plus magic 
and plus range bonuses, which usually most of the helms don't give. Now, also the cool bonus about it is that I'm going to show you guys. So once you wear this, this also gives plus 10 magic, and that's actually really good for like Bandos, Zamrock, and a bunch of other those bosses as well. So this is going to be a nice helmet that I'm going to use as a tribrid helm. A vibrant task. You know what that means? A chance for a visage. Let's give it a go. That is the wyvern task. Did not manage to get myself the visage, which is of course <laughs> expected. It's very rare to get. Hopefully next time I might be a bit more luckier. Now I don't really want to end this episode without doing anything fun. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep slaying until the point that I give myself three crystals to make the arc light. Now once I give myself the arc light, I'm going to go back to Zami and I'm going to try to get myself the Z uh, the Zamrock spear back. Simply because I'm going to need it for corp later on and personally I would love to get it back because it's one of my favorite weapons to use. I prefer it to use over a whip anytime. Now I would also like to do a bit of bandos in this episode as well to try my luck. Maybe I would get lucky enough and get one of the items. So we'll see how that goes. There's the Abyssal Demon task. I did not manage to get myself any shards, but that's alright because I already have two totem pieces. I believe when I have three of them, I can do the boss. And the boss has a chance of dropping one to three shards. So hopefully I'll be able to get it then. So let's go grab a new task and hopefully it's going to be a good one. I just got myself a fun task. I'm definitely going to do the thermonuclear smoke boss for this. I would love to get myself the smoke battle stab because that's going to be a great stab that I can use with the cold necklace as well. That is the smoke devil task completed. It's no good items this task, which is quite upsetting, but that's all right. You know, you can't always expect something good. It feels amazing looking at this. It only took me, well, like, four five tasks or something like that maybe a little bit more i i honestly lost count i wasn't even counting so that's awesome 160 cave krakens now i'm not really sure if i'm going to be doing the boss or not probably not because the chances of getting the trident is much lower from the boss because i don't really need a full one i already have plenty of runes so i'm just going to uh do the smaller ones so i can get the trident at, well so i can at least have a much higher chance of getting the trident so let's get started and i really hope I can get it during this task. It would be quite upsetting if I don't because Cave Krakens is quite a rare task. I managed to get lucky enough to actually get it. I think the chance is 1 out of 200. So it was about, let's see, how many did I get? Like 140, 150, somewhere around there. If we go based off the chance, I had a decent chance to get the Trident during the task. But I'm glad that I managed to get it. Let's see, I think I need some Death Threads and Coins, was it? Ooh, man, it's about time, guys. 60 chest dry, 62 chest, I think. Finally get myself an item. Carol skirt, that's honestly not too bad. I'm not upset. <laughs> if that was a Carol's coif, I would have been very upset. All right, will we get a back-to-back -back item? I really hope so. Ah, nothing. Oh. <laughs> No, come on. <laughs> I would get this item. I'm gonna guess this can alk for like 50k or something like that. Yeah, that's quite upsetting. <laughs> Let's hope the next item is going to be anything but a junk item. Please. I honestly can't complain too much about this reward. I can actually use this for some barrows. I can just deposit my rune crossbow. Good thing I was saving these bolt racks. This, sh I believe, should be a bit better for DPS than a rune crossbow for some things. Let's see, I have a few more charges left. We'll do two more uh, barrel runs. And then after that, I'm going to take a little break from barrels. We'll get back to Slayer. And I want to try to get myself some Hellhounds as well as some Greater Demons to be able to do the Cerberus boss and the Zami boss as well. So let's finish off. Maybe we might get an item with these two runs. If not, let's get back to Slayer. Let's see if we get anything nice before we get back to Slayer. Nothing. All right, so let's go finish off the Kraken task. Would you look at that? Another trident. I will gladly take it. I believe I have, let's see, 42 more left. So that's pretty good. I already managed to get myself two tridents within 110 or 20. I would get this task right when I don't need it. <laughs> of course. You know what? I'm gonna have to skip it for now. So let's see what else we get. <laughs> oh my goodness. When you don't need them, you get them back to back. That is that is funny. 
you know what? I'm not going to waste too many points because I want to try to skip some tasks later if they're really bad tasks. So I'm just going to go smash this out real quick. That's what I'm talking about, guys. 155 hellhounds. That is a perfect amount for me to have a decent chance of lending myself one of the crystals. Hopefully, it's going to be a primordial. That would be really nice. So let's begin the task and really hope that I've managed to get one during the task. I can't believe I forgot all about this. I just finished up getting myself the pool of, uh, I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. <laughs> so this is going to be really nice because it restores my stats at the same time. It gives me unlimited stamina potions, which is extremely useful for me. A lot of times I have to go to clan wars and for that I need to make myself uh, rings of dueling and that's really annoying to do. So the next level that I need to do is going to be to get myself uh, this pool right over here. I think the crystal saw boosted by two levels if I'm not mistaken and then I can get plus five boosts. All it needs is 73. Yeah, 73. That's actually not too bad. That's five more levels. But for that, let's see, I'm trying to remember how much it was on an ultimate to get yourself construction up. And I'm probably going to guess it's probably going to be around like maybe, I don't know, maybe two, three mil, maybe less, maybe more than that. I don't really remember. And I'm definitely not going to work on that right now, simply because I don't really need it at this moment because I just have an altar that I can use to do that. So I'll definitely work on that later on. But this is going to be extremely useful. Now, another thing that I really need to get is going to be the jewelry box. But for that, uh, I, took, I took a quick look at it and it was 81 construction to do that. But later on, I'll definitely work on that and I'll get all of those stuff. It's going to make bossing way much more easier. I've ended up using up all my Slayer points and then I managed to give myself the Greater Demon task, which is a little upsetting because that Slayer bonus would have been very useful for the Zami boss. But that's completely fine because the Arclad by itself is already strong enough to easily do the boss anyways. So I'm going to head back to Barrows real quick and I want to get myself the Carol's body before I head and start doing some Bendo Zami because that Carol's body is quite a big difference compared to a Black Dragonite body. And stats plus 15 magic defense bonus a lot of times makes a big difference. 446 death runes and a Verox plate skirt. That's honestly the best leg item that I could possibly get. Perfect. So all I'm missing right now is a good body as well as a Carol's top and Aram's as well. And we should be good for everything. <laughs> you kidding me. <sighs> Let's see if I can manage to give myself a back-to-back -back item. Come on, anything but a Carol's Coif, please. <laughs> Nothing. A Derek's play body, that's actually pretty good. So the only thing that's left for me to get now is going to be a Carol's body as well as some Aram pieces, the body and the top. I'm going to have to continue getting myself the Carol's top and the Arams later on because I honestly am just too hyped to do some Zami to try to get myself that spear. Well, after doing a bit of Zami and Bendos, I didn't manage to get myself anything. I only did about 10 Zami and 10 Bendos. But I was reminded once again how slow it is and how bad it is just doing it with melee. Now, something interesting that I've noticed that I've never seen before is I've seen someone maging Bendos. Now, the way that he was doing it, he was barraging Zami, then he was running back, uh, praying against range, and just uh, using tridents against Zami. And I thought that was a really interesting way of doing it. And it pr it's probably much better than honestly doing it with melee because that way you can run back, you can barrage them, and you're pretty much protecting against the main attack that hits you, which is the range. Range attack is usually the one that drains most of your HP. And you can also use blood barrage or blood blitz to heal you. So that's something that I'm going to definitely look into later on and I might try that out because that's probably going to be way much better for me to do. That is going to be it for this episode. I hope you guys did enjoy it. I'm honestly very happy with how much I managed to accomplish in this episode. I think it's a decent amount of progress and I'm really looking forward to starting doing some Zora as soon as I'm done with getting myself the Carol's top as well as the Aram's top and bottom. Now in the past I wasn't too successful with Zora because I always ended up running out of food before I ended up finishing off Zora but I recently found out that you can actually hide behind pillars and skip phases which I honestly didn't even know that's possible. I never seen that in any of the guides so that's something that's going to be extremely helpful because the only phase that managed to mess me up is the Jad phase. 
and I do manage to switch through prayers, but I do mess up a lot of times because I'm just terrible at switching prayers. So that's something that's going to make Zol way much longer, but it doesn't matter. As long as I can do a decent amount of Zolars per hour, that's all that matters. So that way it gives me a chance of getting that blowpipe as well as the Serpent Time Hell because I'm really going to need those for raids. So that's something that I'm going to be working on in the next episodes. Aside from that, guys, thank you so much for tuning in this episode. If you guys did enjoy it, be sure to support me by hitting that like. It only takes you guys a few seconds to do it and it helps me out greatly. That's a great way for you guys to support my videos directly simply by just hitting that like button. And if you guys still haven't subscribed, be sure to subscribe so you guys will be updated as soon as I release a new video.